<laughs> Praise the Lord. Brother Hype Man here, a.k.a. Brother Juno, formerly known as the Wretched Knucklehead, my brothers and sisters. Turn our Bibles to Proverbs chapter 28. We'll be looking at verse 9, and it reads, He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. And my brother, this is God's word. We give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, we see in Proverbs chapter 28 where King Solomon writes, he that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. And when he's talking about the law, he's not talking about the Ten Commandments. He's not talking about that law. He's talking about the, 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 the law, like the, the law in Romans chapter 3, verse 27. The law of faith in, in, in Romans chapter 13, verse 10. The law of love, the agape love, the law of the agape love, God's um, constant, unceasing love towards his people. And then another law uh, um, James speaks about in uh, James chapter 1, verse 25, the perfect law of liberty. And this is the laws that King Solomon is talking about, that you, when you turn your ear away from hearing about the, the, the law of faith, the, the, the law of love, the law of agape love, and the law, the perfect law of liberty, you turn your ear away from that, even his prayer. And prayer is nothing more just being in the presence of God shall be an abomination. And so he's giving a, a, a warning not to do this, turning away your ears from hearing the, the law of faith, the law of God's agape love the perfect law of liberty. Don't turn your ear away from that. Uh, because, you know, being in the presence of God will be nothing more but an abomination and ways that we could avoid from, you know, turning our ears away from hearing the law, hearing the, 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 the law of love, the law of faith, the law of the perfect law of liberty, hearing the, the gospel, the, the, you know, the, hearing the word of God, because we know that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God, hearing the gospel of grace, hearing about the, the law of faith, hearing about the law of God's agape love for us, hearing uh, the, 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 the perfect law of liberty. Don't turn away from that. You know, the ways that we avoid from turning away from hearing, especially when it comes to the gospel of grace, is you know, don't be withdrawn from God's word. Don't be indifferent with God's word. The, 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 don't, 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 don't have a, a, a wavering faith when it comes to God's word. You know, the, the apostle James, a gospel of grace preacher said in, in James chapter one, verse six, that, 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 that don't have no wavering faith because then in verse eight, he goes on to say, because a, a, a double minded man is unstable in all his ways. So you don't want to have a wavering faith. You don't want to be double-minded when it comes to the, the, the things of God. Because when, when that happens, you, 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 you're going to withdraw from hearing the word of God. You, 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 and, 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 and faith comes by hearing and hearing the word. And then your prayer, which is nothing more than the presence of God, it, it's going to be an abomination. Uh, another thing is uh, don't, don't have wrong motives. Because uh, we're having these wrong motives could could, could um, turn you from hearing the things of God, hearing about the law of love, the, the, the law of, of, of faith and the perfect law of liberty. Don't have a wrong motive. The Apostle James put it this way in James chapter uh, four, where he talks about you ask not you ask and, and, and you ask. And and you because you 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 have not because you 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 have not because you ask not, and then he goes on to say you asked and received not because you asked amiss, and that's having a wrong motive. This this wrong motive when when you when you when you going and not trusting God, 
not having faith in God, not having faith in the finished work what our, his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, did on the cross. When, when you come to, to God with, with a wrong motive, you know, you could ask and, and, and you ask, but you, you, you receive not because you asked amiss. You, you didn't ask in faith trusting in our lord and savior jesus christ trusting in the finished work of what he did on the cross trusting god's love for you trusting that god has forgiven you of all your sins past present and future because of what his son our lord and savior jesus christ did on the cross not not trusting um that that, that god loves you which is the the, the law of love and as I said, when you come there it's, it's a wrong motive and then uh, we, we, we see another thing that keeps us from, you know, that, that turns our ear away from hearing God's word is when we have war with our loved ones. When we have war with our loved ones, it's going to hinder us from hearing the, the word of God. And, and, and then our prayer, which is our presence with God, is going to be nothing more than an abomination. We see in First Peter uh, chapter 3, uh, verse seven, where we see the apostle Peter talk about the, uh, uh, this, this, you know, uh, avoiding having a war in, with, with, with those that you love. Uh, what he says, husbands love your wives, and 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 and, and wives to 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 honor their husband, and that the husband will honor the wives. So there's a uh, the, in that relationship, there's mutuality, there's reciprocity. There's respect, there's fellowship, and, and then he goes on to say that 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 because of that you are heirs of the grace of life, and when you're heirs of grace of life, and, and, and follow that, your prayers will not be hindered, and so we want to avoid these 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 things where where we, we turn our ears away from hearing God's word, hearing about His law of faith law of love law of the agape love uh, and, and the perfect law of liberty we, we want to avoid uh, you know being withdrawn from the word of god we want to be uh, not have no wavering faith we we we, we don't want to have wrong motives when we come to, to, to god and we don't want to be in a war in, in in our in our loving relationship with, with, with one another on this horizontal level because when when we have a faith that's not wavering when we come with the right motives when we have a loving relationship with with one another on this horizontal level and when we not withdrawn to the word of god but we draw ourselves to the word of god then our prayers and our prayers is nothing more than a privilege and a pleasure to be in the presence of god and 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 when when we depend on him and when we're desperate him and when we trust him then those prayers are nothing more than a blessing in the name of his son our lord and savior jesus christ praise the lord may the lord bless you may the lord keep you may the lord's face shine upon you may the lord lift up his constant you may the lord give you speech and i commend you all to god and to the word of his grace which is able to build you up an inheritance to those who sanctify in the precious name of his son our lord and savior jesus christ amen and not to him that is able to keep you from falling, present you for us in the presence of his glory both glory majesty dominion power both now forevermore praise the lord amen remember my brothers and sisters <laughs> Don't have no wavering faith. Don't have no wrong motive to, to, to God. Don't be in war uh, in, in, in your loving relationships. And don't be withdrawn to the word of God. Because when that, when that happens, you'll hear the word of God. And when you hear the word of God and hearing comes, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God and your prayers, which is nothing more than being in the presence of God of our Abba Father through His Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, will be a blessing. Praise the Lord. God bless. Agape love.